All right, in this video here, we are going to be looking at multiplying binomials, and the acronym that we can use is FOIL. Now, FOIL is unpopular with some teachers because it only works when you multiply binomials, but it doesn't work for any number of polynomials. So just word of warning there. So, but I do find that it does work really well when we're doing, when we get to factoring. So here we go. So basically what we're doing when we're multiplying binomials, we got the X plus two and then the three X plus four. So we're going to multiply both of these terms, the X and the two times both of these terms here, the three X and the four. So it's going to be X times three X, X times four, and then two times three X and then two times four. So the acronym there, that's first outers inners lasts. So the X times the three X, that's the first because it's the first in this parenthesis and the first in this parenthesis. And then the outers is the outside two. And then the inners is the inside two. And that's where we start multiplying by the two. And then the lasts, that's the one right before the end of the parenthesis there. So the two and the four are the last. So we do all those multiplications and then we add like terms. So that, that's how the acronym works. We'll do a couple examples here in a minute. So here we go. So we're doing 2x plus 3 times 4x plus 5. So remember, when we multiply binomials, we're multiplying the 2x and the 3 times the 4x and the 5. So we're going to do 2x times 4x and 2 2x times 5. And then we're also going to do 3 times 4x and 3 times 5. All right, so here we go. And we are going to be doing this using the acronym FOIL. So our firsts there, those are the, the 2x uh, times the 4x makes 8x squared. And then we're doing the 2x times the 5. And that's called the outers because it's on the outside of it. And that's going to be 10x, 2x times 5. 10x. And now we do the, the 3 times the 4x, then the 3 times the 5. So 3 times 4x, that's in the middle. That's We call that the inners. And so that's going to be 12x. 3 times 4x is 12x. And then for the lasts, the 3 is at the end of this binomial. The 5 is at the end of this binomial. So that's going to be also called the lasts. And that's 3 times 5 is 15. So here we go. We had the, the 8x squared. And then we did 2x times 5, 10x. And then we did 3 times 4x, that was 12x. And then we did 3 times 5, and that was 15. And now we just add like terms. So here we go, x squareds. We only have one term with x squareds. And, and from the inners and outers, we have a 10x plus 12x. So that's going to make 22x. And then from the lasts, we ended up with a 15. So many times, your inners and outers are going to add up. Those will be your like terms, unless there's something squirrely going on up here. Right, for this example here, go ahead and pause the video, try it out on your own, and then come on back, see how you did. So for our first, remember we're going to do 4x times x and then 4x times 2. Then we're going to do 3 times x and then 3 times 2. Both of these times both of these. So starting now, if you're using the acronym FOIL, that's your firsts because that's the right after the parentheses. That's the first term there. So 4x times x, 4x squared there. And now we're going to do 4x times 2. That's going to be O for outers. And so that's going to make an 8x. And then we do the 3 times x and then the 3 times 2. So 3 times x, that's on the inside of it. So we call that the inners. So that makes 3x, 3 times x. And then lasts, we're going to do 3 times 2. And that's a plus 6. Now, add like terms. So for x squared terms, we only have one of those, 4x squareds there. For x terms, we have these two here. They did come from the inners and outers. And that's very common for that to happen. And then for our constant term, that came from the lasts. And that's going to be a plus 6 there. Just going to introduce the box method. If you're looking this up, looking for other YouTube videos or something like that, you might find this out here. So just going to introduce it. So if you see it, you kind of understand what's going on. So this was the last example we did. So we have the 4x plus 3. There's the 4x and there's the 3. And then there's the x plus 2. There's the x and there's the positive 2 there. Now, if you have more terms here, you just keep on adding more columns or more rows that way. And this is just a multiplication table. So this box right here, that comes from x times 4x. This box box here comes from 2 times 4x there. This box here comes from x and 3 being multiplied. And then this box here is the product of 3 and 2, and that makes 6. And then when you add like terms, you end up with uh, the 4x squared there. These two added up, make 11x, and then we have the constant term there. Again, that's same as the, the very last example that we did. And then I do want to do an example 
for multiplying these binomials using mental arithmetic. So we're going to be doing a bunch of these throughout the year. So getting good at it is going to save you, save you a bunch of time on your homework. So we're going to multiply 2x plus 5 times x plus 3 just using mental arithmetic. Now, this is a common pattern that we'll see the x then the constant the x term then the constant term so if you have that pattern there to find the first term of your product so after you're done foiling it or multiplying the the binomials your first for the product the first term is going to be just the first so 2x times x that's going to make 2x squared so boom there's your first term there so you just do that part in your head now the middle term is the trickiest one it comes from the outers and inners that's where we get our x term or middle term or B term if you're looking at it in general or standard form. So that's going to be the 2x times the 3 makes 6x and the 5 times x makes 5x. And then for our middle term in our answer in our product, we're just going to add these two together and that's going to make 11x there. And then for the last term, we just look at the lasts. So that's going to be the 5 and the 3 being multiplied and that's going to make a plus 15 there for our answer. So in order to go straight from here, all the way down to here showing no steps. So we're talking mental arithmetic at 2x times x makes 2x squared. Write it down. Now you do the outers and inners for the middle term. So that's a 2x times 3. That's 6 plus the 5 there. And these are x's. 6 and 5 make 11. And then for the lasts, that comes from the, the lasts. So 5 times 3 there. So just to sum things up here, remember when we're multiplying binomials, or any polynomials, all of these terms here are going to get multiplied by all of these terms here. So the x gets multiplied by both of these, and then the 2 gets multiplied by both of these here. And if you do want to use the, the FOIL acronym, you totally can. It's a, a good, quick way of doing things.